Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial and we are back with another stock and review and in particular a certain type of options trade where we haven't really discussed a lot and I do want to get everyone up to date because we are in earnings and this is a great way that you can be bearish on a stock and not necessarily have the same exposure of just throwing all of your money out there and saying hey I want to buy a put. So what we're going to be looking at is credit spreads and in particular credit spreads on Robinhood as well as I do want to highlight some of the pro con lists that you can see on Thinkorswim. So with that being said, the stock that I'm going to be using to highlight a credit spread, call credit spread, is Bank of America. And to be honest, it would be very rare that I would be making this type of play on a Bank of America type of stock. The reason for that is traditionally it is not very volatile, so it's not going to demand the type of premium where you would benefit from a call credit spread. So think of some of the stocks that are more volatile. I mean, Tesla is one that is insane. It is crazy, but definitely offers the capability to do these type of trades. So just be aware that these type of trades are out there. And again, the more volatile the stock, the better pro and con you're going to have off those trades. So with that being said, we are going to be looking at Bank of America options. The ones I'm going to be looking at are August 7th, just to get a little bit of time on them. And as you can see here, we've got a number of different trades that we can make. And what you're going to do is you are going to buy the farther out of the money call. So here I'm doing the $17 one. And then I'm going to sell the $26 one. And you can see here we've got the long call. When I make this selection here, it is now a call credit spread. As you can see here, I would have the capability to get $8 for this trade. And it would give me the capability to make a trade and say, I don't believe that the stock is going to hit $26 by the end of next week. And so I would receive that $8. I would have to hold $50 in credit. So you can see here that me walking through the trade right here, it's going to say I'm going to get $8. They're going to have to hold $50 in collateral. And I don't necessarily have that because you can see my buying power is not quite at that point in time. So what is the advantage here? So this is a easy way where if you have a low balance, I mean, if you are making a $8 gain off of a collateral base $50, then you're instantly looking at a 9% return on investment. Don't necessarily check the math on that. But it's something that you can do on a weekly basis, and this is with a low volatility stock. And if I were to look at the Bank of America trading schedule, I would say we haven't hit $26 a share in the past few months and I may even say I'm gonna go it's gonna go down so the last time we saw something like this was in early June and it rapidly came back down so the way that you get maximum advantage of these trades is by having it expire not within your trade so let me highlight kinda of what that would look like using thinkorswim so what we have here on the screen and I understand that thinkorswim is a much more convoluted platform but as you can see here, we've got a, another series of that trade. Here's July 31st and July 31st, so eight days from now, which is it's actually a little bit sooner than what we saw for the trade we were just looking at. Here's $26 a share. Here's selling that one closer to the money of $25 a share, which is a little bit scarier. I want to highlight that this gives you the advantage, because we are closer to the, to the money, of you can get $21 for this trade and that is the maximum return again you can see that start to decline however once we hit that in the money price that you see right here you start seeing pretty significant losses however that loss is capped at seventy nine dollars a share so just to emulate the trade that we were just looking at where we are selling the twenty six fifty or buying the twenty six fifty and selling the twenty six you can see that our options here are we have our gain of eight dollars and our potential loss is down here at forty two dollars so you're saying what's the point of doing this at risk there's actually a decent probability of success with this just looking at it from a overall how is this stock perform or how has this trade performed in the past 
So as you can see here, the stock has not hit anything close to that, which is kind of running that in. We can add this in to make it a little bit longer. And you can see just it hasn't quite gotten to that level in the near past. So there's still a lot of capabilities to profit off of this, but recognize the downside is a lot higher than if you were to just buy a call where your only exposure is that call. So let's hop back over to Robinhood. And again, it's just as easy as if we go out to August 7th, all we're doing is making that exact same play where we're saying we're going to buy the one farther out, sell the one closer, and that's how we get our $8. So check it out. I think it's worthwhile to add these ventures to your portfolio. Again, for relatively low entry cost of $50 collateral, you can enter these trades and give it a shot. So worst case scenario, you always get this $8 that they provide you if you make the sale. You just may be losing the $50 you set up as collateral, which is where they're getting that net 42. So with that being said, these are call credit spreads. I think they're well some arsenal to your options trading portfolio. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks.